hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing good today i'm going to be showing you how to make this wrap skirt with frills it's a summer wear so we are going to be using a half circle to make the wrap skirt the advantage of using this method is that you're very sure that your skirt will overlap well and then it will not open up while you're walking and especially when you sit down so what measurements do we need we need the waist measurement and the length of your skirt all right so guys if this is something that you like to see let's get to it we will not be using the exact measurement add six inches to your waist measurement my waist measurement is 32 32 plus 6 i have 38 so 38 inches divided by 3.14 I have 12 inches 12 inches is my radius so now how do i fold my fabric i have two meters of fabric here this is the right side and then i folded it into two measure the radius and the length of the skirt so my radius is 12 like i said earlier and um, the length of the skirt is 26. i want the frills to be about four inches wide so i'm going to deduct four inches from 26 that will be 22 inches so i'm going to cut out a radius of 12 inches and the length of 22 inches at the same time from one corner here measure 12 inches so if you're wondering, this is the same thing as folding your fabric into four, as long as you measure your radius correctly. Now I'm going to measure out the length. The length is 22 inches. But you know, I don't measure my length from here. I add it to whatever I have here. So 22 plus 12, that is 34. For accuracy purposes, I'm going to start measuring from here. From this corner all around, you mark your 34 inches. That means that by the time I cut out this 12 inches, what I'll have from here to here will be my length, which is 22. Join this. Cut out the length. This is what I have left. I'll put it aside. Now I can cut out the radius but remember that whenever we're cutting out the radius we always cut half an inch above the radius if you have not seen my video on how to cut different circles i'll leave the link up there please watch it not here come to the side that is open you know that is going to be the center front for me i want the opening to start from about 15 inches so i'm going to mark 15 inches here and then i'm going to blend that 15 inches right into the bottom area make it curved cut out the next thing you're going to do is determine where you want your skirt to overlap to is it to the right or to the left for majority of ladies it is to the right i want mine to overlap on my right so I'm going to open up the skirt so let me show you something like this okay this is the wrong side i'll fold this inward and then this will overlap that is what i'm saying this is the final cutting we are doing on the skirt mark that right side from the waistline this is the waistline curve it just a slight curve into the aim of the skirt and then you cut it out so if you want yours to overlap on the left you'll be using this side i hope you understand so this is how my skirt will be you see the inside is straight so that is the idea your laps are covered they are well secured and then this will come like this so the cutting that i just did now this is what it gives you now cut the frills i'm going to start measuring from this top part measure like this okay 
to the M like this, like this, and then you stop here. You don't need to put the frills here. By the time this part overlaps on this part, this place will be puffy. It will be puffy on the outside. So we don't need frills here. Let's measure. I have 60 up to here. I'm going to put the tape roll on the 60 inch mark and then I'll measure again. This is 56. So 60 plus um, 56, that is 116. There are two methods. You can cut a very long fabric and gather it. That means that you're going to multiply your measurement by two and then you gather it into the measurement, the original measurement of that part. Or you cut a flounce. For me, I would cut a flounce because I want my skirt to be as beautiful as possible. I have a tutorial on how to cut a flounce on my channel, but I'll be doing it all over again. To cut a flounce, this is my fabric, and then you'll be marking a midpoint on the fabric. I did not fold it into two, this is just one. Mark a midpoint. I want my flounce to be four inches wide, but I am going to M the bottom with half an inch. So I'm going to make it 4.5. So I'll put 4.5 inches on this mark, this middle point that I made. Mark the start point and then you mark 9. Okay, you know 4.5 plus 4.5 is 9. We're still on the middle point. We want to make a circle actually. This is my circle. Draw it into a straight line, the horizontal and the vertical. So we have four parts in this circle. Come to one part of the circle, get the midpoint of 4.5, that's about 2.25. Mark the midpoint and then go up by about half an inch. Connect it this way. Then come to one quadrant of the circle. You know we have four quadrants now, one, two, three, four. Come to this part, divide it into two. And then from here, I'm going to start measuring my 4.5 inches. So I put 4.5 inches here on this point, the middle point, okay? And then go like this, 4.5 on this curve, 4.5, 4.5. Once I get here, I'll come back to the edge of the circle and start measuring 4.5. So you go all around 4.5, 4.5, 4 4.5. 4 Draw this into a circle. This is where I am now. So once I get back here, I'm going to start measuring that 4.5 from this circle, the new circle. Okay, 4.5. This is time consuming, but if you're making a ready to wear or something, I, I feel this is the best. Except the design you want is actually for it to be gathered. I feel, I feel this is the best. Unfortunately, I cannot get 4.5 here anymore. Okay. So, this is what I have now. Let's measure what we have here to know if I need to cut more or this is just enough. This curve that we made, I'm going to place my tape rule on it and then I'm going to go around. Remember, I need about 116 inches. I have 60 inches up till here. Let me measure what I have left. I'm going to stop here. This mark, the inner circle, don't go to the outer circle. I'm going to measure from here where I stopped up till here. What I have is 16 inches. So I need 50 inches more. So you know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to, you see, this is one part of the fabric. I did not fold it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fold my fabric so that I can cut out two. By the time I cut out two, 
that means that I am going to have double of what I measured out here. What I measured out here is 60 plus 16. That is 76. So folding it into two, I'm going to have one, um, 152. Now I'm going to cut out two of this, which is better. You can put a weight on your fabric. Once you get here, that curve that we made, then you're going to trace it out this way. And then on that midline we made, we just cut it out. So this is our flounce. So one thing I love about the flounce is that you know, you're sure that you have this tiny flare. Yeah, it makes your work beautiful as long as you cut your flounce well. So that one end can be sharp, I'm going to cut out this part. I'm just going to trace this out. But if you don't want it to be sharp, then you can leave it this way. So I'm going to start joining it to my fabric from here. Something like this. This is my skirt. The first thing you're going to do actually is to M the flounce before we join it to the skirt. All right, I've hemmed the bottom. I've hemmed it all around. Attach the flounce to the skirt, right side facing right side. Like I said, we're not going to put anything here because this is the straight part. Yes. So I'm going to start from this curved part, okay? Right side facing right side. By the time I finish sewing it, it's going to come this way. So it'll be like this. The frills will be here, all around. I have attached the frill to the bottom of the skirt, higher it so that it can lay flat. The next thing we're going to do is to attach the band, measure what you have, starting from where the frill started, you see? What I have is about 45 inches so that i'll be able to tie it you know it is a wrap skirt i'm going to need extra 15 inches on both sides it depends on how long you want your band to be extra 15 or 20 inches let's do 20 inches on both sides that's 40 40 plus 45 that's 85 so here i have a fabric that is 85 inches long and four inches wide so to attach it to the skirt to iron the fusible interfacing the very light one after ironing the fusible interfacing 0.5 inch 0.5 inch here and then you fold it on top of each other like this so by the time you're attaching it to the skirt you'll be sandwiching the skirt the band of the skirt inside what you have you sandwich it here and then you sew on top of it so you're going to have something like this 